depending on where you are. Well, welcome to uh well the the International Industry Ecology Day twenty twenty three in Beijing. Uh, it's uh, I think it's the third International Industry Ecology Day, and it's the second one we host uh in Beijing. Uh, well, last year we uh, we talked about uh the well the uh, well, linking national green low carbon transitions with the global SDGs, uh, and with with quite a few experts sharing their knowledge to us. And this year, uh, according to uh, what uh Heinz suggested us to do to recognize the contribution of of our Qinghua to the community, we I, uh, we thought that well, it's yeah. it's too narrow. As a scope to to just recognize Tsinghua, so we uh, we expand it. Uh, in our design, we expand the scope a little bit. We we will have three experts, each uh, representing uh, some unique contribution of their group mm -hmm. to uh, the industrial ecology community, uh, not only in in, Be in China but also to the international community. But before. Uh, our uh, detailed discussion into each of the three uh, groups. Uh, first, we will have uh, Professor Shi uh, from Nanchang University to give us a, a grand view of uh, the whole community of Chinese scholars in this territory. And finally, we will have uh, Professor Xu from Tsinghua University as our okay. president for, the, for our international community. Uh -huh. Conclude with uh future. Okay, then first, uh, let's welcome Professor Shu for the first one to give us a general picture of our community. Okay, uh, thank you, Jimmy. Uh, it's uh, my great honor uh, and pleasure, you know, to introduce how industrial uh, ecology research was introduced and this project in China. Uh, uh, you know, first uh, I present this picture. In fact, uh, this picture I once presented last uh, uh, in the, uh, uh, industrial ecology day. Uh, uh, as you can see, uh, this is China and this is Europe. Uh, sorry, maybe I can use I use this. Okay, this is Europe. This is uh, uh, United States. Uh, you know, all all these country countries. Uh, you know, from uh, almost zero to uh, great uh, uh, celebration, and then uh, reach peak, and then to uh, next zero. Uh, so from the whole world, uh, uh, at the beginning of uh, industrial revolution. This is the great di uh, divergence, and this is uh, the great co co convergence. Uh, and very luckily for for China, uh, you know, when uh, industrial ecology was introduced, uh, you know, happened uh, happened happened here. Uh, so uh, just uh, you know, from uh, 1980s, China began to increase the very sharply. Uh, for CO two emissions, uh, that is why I call it uh, luckily because uh, uh, just in this period, uh, industrial ecology can uh, contribute a lot to China's uh, uh, ecology and the environment. Uh, so this is uh, the China GDP and the growth rate since uh, new China established. Uh, you know that is uh, nineteen. Uh, for the forty nine, uh, you 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 know in the early of New China, uh, China industrial uh, industrial development mainly learned from the former Soviet Union, and after uh, China uh, opened to the to the world, uh, you, as you can see, China uh, industrial development very fastly, but only after joining uh, you know WTO. Uh, China, uh, you know, especially for material flows, can uh, increase the very, very sub, sub supply. So this is the background of uh, uh, industrial ecology development in China. Uh, 
uh, that is CO2 emission and the GDP uh, growth. Uh, uh, in early uh, 1980s, uh, some industrial ecology related consumption emerged in China, uh, uh, such as uh, economic ecology, ecology car engineering, and uh, compound ecology uh, ecosystem. This is, uh, you know, Ma Shi Jun, and this is Wang Rutong, both uh, from, uh, you know, China Economic uh, 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 Institute. So this is uh, the milestone pictures uh, co-authored by the two pioneers. Uh, you know, Professor Liu Jingru will introduce more about the uh, two uh, pioneers. So this is uh, the first. And uh, also in early uh, 19th and, uh, and uh, there are some engineering uh, pioneers contribute a lot in special industrial sectors. Uh, for example, iron steel, this is uh, Professor Lu Zhongwu. Uh, he Ming Wang will introduce more about uh, Professor Lu. And this is uh, Jin Yong uh, from Tsinghua University who focused on uh, chemical engineering. And this is uh, Zhang Yi uh, from uh, China, uh, Chinese Academy of Science, uh, mainly focused the uh, marine and uh, 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 engineering. And this is Duo Tianyong uh, from Beijing University of Technology, uh, mainly from uh, material engineering. So uh, all, all, all these, you know, contribute uh, from uh, uh, industrial sector perspective. Uh, and uh, this is Professor Tian Yi at Tsinghua University. And uh, this is also Professor Xi De Li. This is Professor Zhang Tianzhu. Uh, all come from uh, you know Tsinghua University. Uh, you know, in in this year, uh, uh, Professor Tian Yi uh, established uh, a cleaner production working group and uh, the CCRCED, that is China Control of uh, International Cooperation on Environment and, and Development. You know, this is. Uh, the highest level consultant uh, uh, organization in China, uh, uh, you know, after the Real World Summit uh, conference, uh, you know, for first uh, focused on cleaner production, and then from uh, two thousand years, uh, uh, Professor Tian Yi also led another group that is Circular Economic uh, Task Force. So uh, based on these uh, working groups, uh, China, you know, uh, takes some, uh, you know, uh, industrial ecology related, uh, you know, consultant and research, research activities. Uh, so this is very interesting pictures. Uh, as you know, Yale University contributed a lot to China in, uh, in industrial ecology. Uh, in, in this year, uh, we held together uh, an education workshop. So this all uh, women, uh, not no men. So this is Professor Professor Tian Yi, and then this is Professor you know Marin Chota. That looks quite quite young, <laughs> and uh, you know maybe uh, there's uh, some you know professor. This is uh, uh, you know Mao Jian Zhu, uh, and this is uh, this maybe you can find yourself at these pictures. Uh, and uh, 19, uh, 2012, uh, we held the third uh, Asia-Pacific meeting at uh, Tsinghua University. We, uh, I selected some pictures. Uh, so this Professor Tian Yi, this, uh, 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 this, this is, uh, uh, you know, Tom, this is Professor Lu, and this is from the Netherlands, uh, Hopeless. Uh, so uh, it's a, uh, uh, quite early, you know, in, in China to have the international meetings. And, uh, uh, you know, in this year, uh, we established the Chinese Society for Industrial Ecology. We take these pictures at uh, Surrey uh, uni University uh, at, uh, you know, the uh, uh, sixth uh, uh, international uh, conference. And, uh, you know, in 2018, we also established the Industrial Ecology Committee and the, the Ecological Society of China. 
uh, and uh, you know, this also my student, you know, I went for China uh, industry college. That is, you know, the 10th uh, international conference at uh, Tsinghua University. We take these pictures, uh, you know, after at the end of the conference. Uh, you know, when we mentioned the uh, uh, industry college development in China, uh, I always call, uh, you know, three streams, uh, you know, convergence. Uh, in China, in uh, Southwest China, we call it the Thanjiang Bilu, three big rivers, you know, uh, flows together. And uh, in China, you know, we can find, uh, you know, three different, uh, uh, you know, streams for industry ecology. The first is uh, traditional ecological thinking, especially uh, uh, Wang, uh, like Ma Sijun and Wang Wuthong. And the second is uh, experimental industrial protect, uh, protectors of uh, new China. And the last is the spread of uh, Western influence to the West, uh, West especially, uh, you know, Yale University. Uh, so we must uh, thank uh, Yale University when we mentioned uh, uh, you know, uh, the Western influence. And uh, now uh, we begin, you know, into the post-pandemic area. So the target of uh, industrial ecology in China, we want to make, uh, you know, Chinese economic uh, community better and better. So that is to say, we move from this period to this period to this. And then now we want to a uh, more better and sustainable you know, development for uh, uh, China, i.e. Uh, uh, development. So that's all. Thank you. Hi, Jimmy. Uh, that's all. Well, uh, thank you, Professor Shi. Uh, uh, and uh, well, uh, uh, Professor, what Professor Shi didn't mention is that he, he was also one of the pioneers in, in the <laughs> In the, the spread of the industry ecology knowledge in into the Chinese community and also as the bridge to connect uh, the the domestic community with the international community, I think well well these pioneers they are well like the like the flows uh, Professor Shi mentioned that the the flow actually spread the knowledge to uh, to benefit all of us uh, that. Uh, work on this topic as as researchers or as practitioners. <clears throat> okay, moving on. Uh, uh, we will have our next speaker, uh, Professor Wang from North State Eastern University, and Professor Wang will bring uh, also the uh, the uh, presentation about the contribution of uh, Mr. Lu Zhongwu and uh, uh, North Eastern University. Okay, thank you very much, Jiming. Uh... I will see. Can you see my uh, shared uh, PowerPoint? Yes, we can see. Okay. Uh, thank you very much uh, for your introduction. And uh, it's my great honor. Good uh, afternoon, everyone. And um, uh, my name is He Ming Wang from Northeastern University. Uh, today, I would like to introduce the lifelong contributions of Professor Zhong Lu and uh, uh, Northeastern University. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, uh, uh, first uh, I would like to have a uh, quite uh, a brief introduction of po Professor Lu. Uh, Professor Lu um, was born in 1929 and studied his academic career on energy conservation for furnaces in the 1950s. And in the 1980s, Professor Lu developed system energy conservation theory uh, which focused not only on a furnace, uh, but also on a whole factory. And in the late 1990s, Professor Lu decided to dedicate himself to industrial quality in his 70s years old, uh, focusing on a whole industry or a country. Uh, from uh, the academic car career for Professor Lu, uh, we can see that uh, his um, uh, uh, career line is in line with China's uh, the country's uh, uh, need. Uh, for example, uh, in the beginning of a new uh, country of China, uh, we need uh, a lot of uh, iron and steel. So uh, Professor Lu um, started his uh, academic career on uh, furnaces. But later, when we have enough 
uh, iron and steels, uh, we have a big problem for the energy civilian. So Prof Professor Lu developed the system and energy conservation theory to solve this um, problem. And in the late of 1990s, uh, because of uh, that China has uh, developed uh, for uh, decades and there are some uh, major environmental problems to solve and uh, industrial quality is set well for the sol solving these questions. So that's why <coughs> Professor Lu uh, dedicated to industrial quality. And uh, as we know that uh, Professor Lu was one of the earliest uh, and the most uh, determined practitioners uh, in industrial ecology of China. And uh, he was devoted to introducing industrial <coughs> ecology to China. Uh, regarding uh, Professor Lu's whole uh, uh, contributions uh, to industrial ecology uh, required by uh, Jiming, and uh, I have uh, thought about it uh, for a long time, and uh, I think um, the thinking mode is the, maybe in my mind, is the biggest contribution uh, from Professor Lu. Uh, Professor Lu proposed a thinking system combining holism and the reductionism for the application of industrial ecology. And as we know, that uh, modes of thinking uh, would decide the modes of development. And um, for example, for the um, uh, a system mode of thinking, it takes care of the whole of things, has a holistic uh, concept, that speaks of a universal connection, and it is close to materialistic um, dialectics. The East is dominated by the integrated mode of thinking. And for the analytical mode of thinking, it grabs a thing, especially a material, and analyzes it, analyzes uh, to an extremely fine degree. And the West is dominated by uh, such uh, analytical mode of thinking. So uh, that's the difference uh, between the East and the Western uh, countries. In Professor Lu's uh, opinion, we should think uh, by combining these two uh, thinkings. So it's just like a harmony between heaven and man and a harmony between man and the nature. That's like uh, in, uh, in Chinese Lao Tzu saying, uh, so it's also um, in line with the sustainable development. So under the guidance of uh, Professor Lu, our uh, research group are, are doing uh, some research um, for resource utilization and the circular economy and uh, drivers of resource utilization in China, environmental impacts of resource utilization in China, and the economic impacts of resource utilization in China. So uh, we can see that um, for all of them, uh, we link resource use to uh, the other uh, aspects uh, such as the environmental impacts and the economic impacts. So uh, that's uh, from the uh, Professor Lu's guidance uh, by using the holism uh, thinking mode. The second uh, contribution is, uh, from Professor Lu is he proposed uh, the tuning through the environmental mountain. Uh, for developing countries such as China, tuning through the environmental mountain is the must. Uh, see the uh, dust arrow line. Uh, only in this way, developing countries will pay much lower environmental price while enjoying the same economic growth. And the third contribution is uh, uh, Professor Lu has developed the two methods of material flow analysis. And uh, he applied uh, the method from fluid dynamics to material flow uh, analysis. So we can see that there are two uh, basic uh, material flow analysis uh, mode. Uh, the first one is the fixed point of the observation uh, method, uh, just like a man uh, sitting uh, or standing at uh, a bridge to see how the uh, river flows. That's the fixed point uh, of the reason method. And the second one is the tracing of the reason method. It's like uh, we uh, people uh, on the boat and to uh, flow uh, along with the river to see how it flows uh, with them. So that's the uh, two basic uh, methods of material flow analysis. The, third, the fourth uh, theory 
uh, developed by Professor Lu as the macro control uh, of resource use and waste emissions, especially used in China. <laughs> and uh, maybe some uh, friends know that Professor Lu is uh, very uh, good at uh, Chinese uh, traditional medicine. And uh, based on the Chinese traditional medicine, Professor Lu de developed a, a new macro control uh, framework for uh, dealing with resource use and with emissions for uh, heavy industries such as uh, cement uh, industries. Uh, for example, uh, uh, we do not uh, only consider the inside uh, um, technology or aspects uh, from the uh, cement industry, such as the process related CO2 and uh, some technology like a uh, clinker outboard. We also uh, consider the in use stock, uh, cross fixed uh, capture uh, formation, and the GDP and the GDP as reported, GDP as uh, planned, and the urban population and the total population. So, based on uh, all this um, macro control framework, we can deal. Uh, well, there were uh, with the uh, whole uh, problem. Uh, the fifth contribution from Professor Lu uh, is the uh, university's mission uh, for sustainable development. Professor Lu um, advocated for university in the service of sustainable development. He has um, talked about uh, a lot of how university can solve for uh, sustainable development and uh, publish relevant uh, papers and, uh, and have uh, presented a lot of uh, reports uh, for this issue. And the sixth is the teaching and the training um, students. In 2005, Professor Lu and his school began to uh, teach industry ecology for undergraduates at our university, which is one of the first university in China to offer IE course. In tw uh, 2013, Northeastern University Industry Ecology course was successfully selected as the National High Quality Open Course. And uh, six uh, years later, the industry ecology course was recognized as the national first class and graduate course and accumulated number of online learners uh, exceeded uh, uh, 16,000. And uh, that's uh, Professor Lu's, uh, how Professor Lu gets students. There, these are some pictures, uh, this is uh, me. Uh, all these are Professor Lu's uh, students and uh, um, uh, during the whole industrial courses, and um, Professor Lu has trained the six PhDs in industrial ecology. Uh, for example, um, Professor Mao Jian Su, um, uh, Professor Bu Qingchai, Professor Dai Tiejun, Professor Yue Qiang, and Professor Zhang Jianhui, and uh, uh, me as my great honor was the uh, is the last student from uh, Professor Lu. And this is uh, my PhD. Uh, defense uh, picture. Okay, and uh, uh, Professor Lu also published uh, many books uh, uh, regarding industry ecology and the listed studies of industry ecology and uh, some uh, teaching book of industry ecology foundation and uh, some uh, uh, book related to the macro control for uh, the heavy industry of China. And um, uh, we are uh, glad to uh, to say that Professor, uh, we just uh, uh, published the one paper, uh, one uh, one book for Professor Lu's whole collection of the his papers and uh, some articles, uh, which is not uh, only related to industrial ecology but all the uh, research field and how uh, he uh, teach the uh, student, how he uh, governed the uh, Northeastern University as uh, Professor Lu. Uh, was uh, the president of uh, uh, Northeastern University during 1984 to 1991. Okay, for the uh, discipline and the laboratory construction, Professor Lu uh, was one of the first uh, sub-disciplines of industrial ecology in China. And um, uh, more importantly, in 2002, in the UNSD, and the Tsinghua University and the Chinese Academy of Environmental Science jointly constructed uh, the first uh, uh, SEP laboratory of industry of eco industry 
we see the first uh, uh, such in uh, laboratory of industrial ecology uh, in China is, and uh, Professor Lu with pr uh, Professor Chen Yi and Professor Jin Yong are uh, together um, uh, promoted the, uh, the construction of this uh, very important uh, laboratory. And uh, uh, this are the, some uh, pictures for the laboratory construction and uh, uh, Professor Lu also established the Institute of Industrial Ecology at Northern University. And last, there are some in, uh, important international uh, communications. Uh, this uh, picture is the uh, uh, 2006 Professor Lu was invited by Professor Gredo and, uh, and from uh, Yale University to give an invited lecture entitled The Studies of Metrocycles in China. And um, uh, as Professor Shri just uh, showed that um, Professor Lu uh, gave a keynote speech in the SAEAP Asia-Pacific Conference at Tsinghua University in 2012. This is our um, memory uh, and the important uh, uh, pictures. At last, I would like to uh, uh, share with you uh, Professor Lu's favorite poem, Youth. And uh, I think that's the uh, you the, this uh, poem just uh, like uh, Professor Lu's spirit. Uh, use is not a time of life; it's a state of mind. And when the areas are down, your spirit is covered with snows of uh, cynicism and the airs of pessimism. And then you are uh, grown old, even at twenty. But as long as your areas are up. To catch waves of optimism, that is hope you may die young at 80. So that's the spirit of Professor Lu. Okay, uh, that's all, uh, Jimmy. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, well, thank you, Professor Wang. Uh, well, I think it's it's quite inspiring life of uh, Professor Lu about about the, especially the final part about the poems, but also, of course, about education and also uh, his thoughts and uh, all, the, all the other contributions. Okay, uh, for the time Thank being, you. we have three speakers and only uh, 30 minutes left. Uh, we have to move quickly to the next speaker, uh, Professor Liu uh, from Chinese Academy of Sciences. And her talk will be about lifelong contributions of uh, Mr. Uh, Wang Rusong. Sorry, uh, okay, uh, good day. Uh, my name is Jing Hu Liu from the Chinese Academy of Sciences. Uh, first, uh, okay. I would like to introduce our research center. Uh, founded in 1975 as the first comprehensive research institute. Uh, engaged in research on eco-environmental sciences and technology in, in China. Uh, the main purpose of our research center are to carry out some national and international research projects in environmental sciences, uh, environmental engineering, uh, system ecology, uh, to provide fundamental data in ecological and environmental sciences for government uh, and uh, technology. Uh, for enterprises. Presently, there are about 500 staff in our research center uh, and uh, about 100 uh, professors working in various areas. Uh, there are three state key laboratory and uh, uh, I am a professor of the state key laboratory of urban and re regional ecology. Uh, as a student and uh, assistant uh, pro of Professor Wang, uh, I have had the privilege of working closely with him for nearly 20 years. Professor Wang was an uh, uh, ac uh, academician of the Chinese Academy of Engineering. He was born in, 19, uh, in 1947 and uh, grew up in Anhui province. 
He obtained a bachelor degree in mathematics from Anhui Normal University. Uh, and in 1985, he received a PhD from the Chinese Academy of Sciences. Uh, he was the first doctor majored in ecology of the Chinese Republic of China. Uh, during his career, Professor Wang served as the leader of our key laboratory and uh, the uh, deputy of the Chinese National People's Congress. Uh, he was a highly influential ecologist who has made outstanding and uh, lifelong contribution to the theory and the application of urban and industrial ecology. Uh, he developed the theory of social, economic, natural complex ecosystem. Uh, the theory that combines ancient Chinese ecolo uh, ecological uh, wisdom with modern ecological senses. Uh, in uh, this theory express the equal complex between human beings and its living settlement, uh, including three subset, uh, subsystem, the social, economic, and the natural subsystems. Uh, the social networks include culture, institution, and technology. The economic networks include uh, the primary, secondary, and the infrastructure services. And uh, the natural subsystems uh, consists of the Chinese traditional five elements, the metal, wood, water, fire, and soil. Uh, center of his vision of uh, this theory, uh, I think, is balance, integration, and uh, harmony. And uh, these are the uh, tenets uh, deeply rooted in Chinese traditional culture. Uh, Employed this theory, Professor Wang uh, sought not only to understand, but also to uh, re re remind and reshape our urban living spaces. Uh, he was responsible for the development of the first eco county, the Da Feng, uh, in Jiangsu province, the first eco city, uh, Yangzhou, and the first eco province. Hainan in China. The framework he proposed for eco-policy uh, eco -policy development has become the basic framework for the uh, eco-civilization construction in our country. Uh, Professor Wang uh, pioneered the study of industrial ecology and explored new paths for green development of China. Uh, he defined the ecological industry as a, a kind of networking and adaptive ecological economy uh, operated according to the principles of e uh, ecological economics of uh, totality, co-evolution, recycling, and self-resilience, uh, having high efficiency of resource use and uh, harmony with surrounding life support ecosystem. Uh, he further pointed out that the transition from a traditional industrial economy to a circular economy required a revolution in both natural, social, and economic subsystems within the carrying capacity of local ecosystem uh, through changing production pattern consumption behavior and the decision instrument based on ecological economics and uh, system engineering. Uh, the key to uh, industrial, uh, the ecological industrial planning is ecological integration. Uh, and uh, the key is to make a trade-off between economic wealth and uh, environmental health between material and uh, spiritual civilization, and uh, between natural and the human eco cybernetics. Mm. From his point of view, the eco industrial metabolism emphasizes on the industrial transition from uh, industry uh, focusing on traditional products to function, uh, to function uh, and 
uh, process closed uh, industry uh, through coupling of production, consumption, transportation, reduction, and uh, regulation. And this transition is, is by, uh, especially urgent for those who are uh, not cities having a certain level of industrialization, uh, which needs upgrading and reform, uh, but uh, lacking in new motivation to stimulate their economy. Uh, environmental pollution is caused uh, by ecosystem exhaustion uh, and uh, stagnancy, where the input of producer is much lower or larger than the output from the system, respectively. The transition of industrial uh, into eco-industry uh, deals with this problem at uh, the roots and uh, is therefore important element of eco-city development to encourage a uh, ecological industrial transition according to the nine principles uh, Professor Wang proposed, uh, proposed uh, including food web-based coupling, life cycle coupling, uh, ecosystem-based uh, re uh, regional coupling, a flexible and adaptable structure design, uh, functional service, uh, capacity building, uh, employment enhancement, uh, and uh, respecting human dignity. And he also proposed the, the new three R uh, principles of e ecological industrial transition, uh, rethinking, reform, and re-innovation. Uh, under his uh, guidance, our team uh, completed the planning of four different types of ecological industrial parks, uh, exploring uh, various models of industrial ecological transition and uh, construction. Uh, and Professor Wang believed that China's development of ecological industrials uh, not only has good models uh, of uh, traditional cultural uh, or ecological engineering, but also has a, a modern uh, industrial base. He thought that the, the, uh, the industrial transition of China should be from, uh, should be uh, from in China to made in China to enjoy in China and uh, he gave a list of potential ecological industrial in China. For example, the biomass uh, industry, eco energy industry, eco building industry, and uh, uh, eco sanitation industry. Okay. Uh, while running uh, our uh, key laboratory and uh, teaching. Uh, graduate ecology and uh, uh, planning students, Professor Wang organized a series of national and international conferences and uh, 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 writing a lot of uh, scientific papers. Uh, Professor Wang got a high uh, worldwide reputation because of his long life contribution and the great achievements. He has published uh, over 400 papers, articles, uh, and books, uh, in which he has earned uh, international recognition and uh, reputation. And he was awarded the National Science and Technology Progress uh, Award twice. Uh, he had more than uh, 40 uh, doctor students and uh, trained a group of uh, high-level managers uh, which uh, who served the uh, uh, government uh, for ecological, for example, ecological province, uh, ecological cities. And uh, Professor Wang's pioneering work in industrial ecology uh, has not only promoted the development of uh, this science uh, in China, but also laid a scientific foundation to encourage a shift for China's environmental protection uh, from an end of the cap approach to circular economy and uh, green development. 
and uh, he did some pioneer foundation and creative work on the theory of complex ecosystem and uh, made a, a historical contribution to the civilization development of China. Uh, he was not only a great uh, scholar, but also a romantic uh, poet. Uh, and uh, finally, I would like to share with you this song of ecology he compo uh, composed uh, about uh, 15 years ago. That's all. Thank you. Well, uh, thank you, Professor Liu, uh, for the for the uh, very nice uh, uh, introduction about uh, Professor Wang's well great contribution. Uh, well, uh, we should move quickly. Uh, so the next speaker will be uh, Professor Chen, uh, well, also from uh, Ch Chinese Academy of Sciences, and his uh, presentation will be about the contribution of Chinese uh, industry ecology pioneers from from Tsinghua and the School of the Environment. Okay, thank you, Jinming, for uh, organizing and uh, giving me this opportunity to introduce the, the contribution of industrial ecology pioneers from Tsinghua School of Environment. Uh, I was uh, given this task, I think, pro pro first because I am a student of Professor Chen Yi and Shi Lei. At least uh, at the first, uh, I was asked to introduce only Professor Chen Yi. But she said, you should not only introduce me, uh, there are a lot of other people that have made a uh, great contribution. So um, we, we then use this word, industrial ecology pioneers. So I would, I would love to introduce four important uh, people. Uh, yeah. First is uh, Professor uh, De Li Xi. Um, I actually, when I was a student, uh, when I started my uh, doctor studies in 2004, Professor Xi already retired. I have never seen him for several times because Professor Xi Lei invited him to our uh, group meetings or some or somewhere else. Um, I, <clears throat> um, I know him because Professor Xi uh, introduced his these important books. Uh, and the first one is called Zero Waste Technology, New Mode of Urban uh, Development. And you can see that it is published in 1990. Um, the other one was Cleaner Production, which was published in 1995. Um, so in 2004, when I started my studies on industry, industry ecology, I started uh, from reading uh, literatures on industrial symbiosis. But Professor Sule said, uh, okay, you, you, you should read this book Zero Waste Technology. Uh, and when I read that book, I found that everything that was talked about industrial symbiosis and eco-industrial park uh, was already very clearly and uh, detailedly um, de described there. Um, Professor Xi had this background, uh, can read this book, can wrote this book, uh, be I think um, was mainly because he had a training in the former Soviet Union, and he can write, read a lot of Russian uh, literature. And um, uh, those industrial symbiosis uh, and uh, ideas series, I was taught a, a, a surprise that was already developed in also in the former Soviet Union in 1980s. And he read a lot of literature and then um, wrote this book, uh, also by combining the former Soviet Union theory with the Chinese uh, industrial practice at that time. So this is the first, first person, Professor Xi. Uh, Professor Chen Yi uh, is now about 85, I think 86 or eight, but but he but she's uh, younger than Professor uh, De Li Xi. Um, and she was my, um, uh, doctor student. Um, when I was a doctor student, she was my my first supervisor, with Sule as the second supervisor. My understanding of her contribution in the field of industrial ecology development studies actually at least you know uh, uh, include three important things. The first one is the cleaner production. So she was the first person that introduced um, well one of the pioneers that. Uh, introduce cleaner production um, into China, um, you know, from the Western world. And one important thing that she did um, before 2000, I think, was that she hired 
uh, Dr. Shilei is the first postdoc in this field in Tsinghua. Well, I think that Shilei should be the first one. Yeah. And then the second uh, field is the the more, uh, you know, uh, <clears throat> industrial ecology part. So as, as Shilei mentioned, she she was a good friend of Tom Grado and Marion Churchill before 2004. And then when uh, Tom and Marion decided to organize a IE uh, training to the Chinese scholars, and then uh, they decided to do that together. So it was in 2004. So before that, nobody knows what industry ecology was then, right? And then she was also invited as a keynote speaker in the 2007 ISI conference uh, in Toronto, which was co-organized by Chris Kennedy and and Shulei and, and somebody else. She was also uh, given the ISI Society Prize in 2019 uh, because of her contribution. Um, the third uh, important thing is the circular economy and urban mining. So I studied my um, PhD um, career in 2004, the, and I had a training of environmental engineering, but I didn't want to do experiments. So I found that, well, something called in circular economy started to become very popular in 2004. And I found that uh, Professor Chen Yi was a very important person promoting a circular economy. So since around 2004 and five. So, and and then she also talked talk a lot and this uh, started studies on urban mining in around that time. So she had a background, <clears throat> I mean, during most of her career, she actually was developing uh, technologies for uh, end of life pipe treatment of wastewater. So she studied everything from end of pipes technologies. And then she realized the importance of cleaner production and introduced colonial production into China in 1990s. And then uh, she started also to realize, well, everything that are uh, only at the <clears throat> uh, micro scale or the, um, the pipe scale is not enough. So then she realized industrial ecology was important. And then from industrial ecology to circular economy and green economy and low carbon economy. And actually after 2012, um, she started to talk about eco-civilization. Uh, and then, well, now this eco-civilization is also very uh, become very popular and widely accepted by the Chinese uh, academia and also the Chinese policymakers and industries. The third important person at the Tsinghua School Environment of Early Industrial Ecology Pioneers is Professor Tian Zhu Zhang. Um, so I started to know him actually also um, in now 2003. Um, when I first uh, know, he, knew, know him, and she, he was a, a scientist doing studies on environmental policy. And then she, he became, uh, <clears throat> he did a very important work was was that um, in around like 2006, well, the Chinese uh, PRC Congress decided to have a, a law something related to circular economy. And then they, uh, they hire an expert group, a panel, and then Professor Tian Zhu Zhang, I think he was sort of the, 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 the leader of the panel group. So um, after working for several years, they succeeded uh, having the Ch Chinese, uh, you know, PRC, the National Congress to issue this promotion law of circular economy. I think he and Shule and somebody else made good contribution in this uh, field. Uh, of course, the last one I'd like to, love to introduce is uh, Professor Shule. I think he is very important. He, it, He's the person that actually um, linking the older generation and the younger generation. I mean, uh, he uh, he is the um, uh, from about from about two thousand and twenty ten. I think twenty twenty. I think during the those twenty years, he was the uh, he he was the person uh, working at Tsinghua School of Environment that really promote the development of industrial ecology. 
uh, of course he studied he usually told me that he studied from uh, you know doing studies on uh, cleaner production first as a postdoc at Tsinghua and then in, uh, in the field of industry ecology he was the first co-chair of the ISA conference uh, he also into he his many studies was on about eco industrial parks and industrial symbiosis, and I think one of his very important contribution is that he it is he that introduced the network analysis uh, the complex network analysis into industrial symbiosis, an eco industrial park and then the industrial ecology. He also did, um, built the the industrial ecology section. Uh, under the Chinese Society for Industry Ecology. For ecology. Um, in the practice level, um, what I remember was that he was also the person that um, built the, build the, the framework in, on the right hand side uh, of uh, you know, how to promote and implement circular economy uh, on the city level. And then that, that was a very important uh, project uh, you know, for I mean, during that time. So in this framework, we develop circular economy system for industries, the environmental infrastructures, and also um, the um, ecological system. Well, this framework uh, is very, uh, was, was then widely distributed in, in, in 2000s, actually. So my understanding is that, well, this very, these four important, uh, um, early pioneers in industrial ecology at the Tsinghua School of Environment, um, they had the, these similar uh, patterns uh, that they started from everything on engineering and then to policy. They, start, they started to do a lot of practice and realized what they knew was not enough. And then they, find to, they try to find and develop industrial ecology theory. And also their studies basically from micro level, but finally, uh, step by step goes goes to the city and then the national levels on the macro, you know, more macro levels. So that's all. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Professor Chen. Uh, well, finally, let's uh, welcome our president of the International Industrial Ecology Community, uh, Professor Xu from Tsinghua University, uh, to talk about the future development of the community. Okay. Uh, thank you, Jimmy. Um, it's uh, it's a great um, event you have organized. I think we we really need such an event from time to time to take stock of our uh, pioneers and uh, looking forward for the future. So I um I, I think um, all those uh, pioneers that we just uh, heard their stories um, have built a very uh, good solid foundation for China. Chinese uh, um, industry ecology uh, field. Um, right now, um, I think there are much more industry ecologists working in China or working on China from anywhere um, than in the past. So we, we have a very good uh, critical mass to, um, to be able to make industry ecology of uh, a better uh, even uh, have a even better larger uh, impact uh, in China and globally um, so I am I'm really glad to see that um, Juming is organizing this event and also the China the industry ecology section on the Chinese Society for of uh, ecology has been active actively uh, organizing uh, events uh, that, uh, for example, next week we will have an annual conference in Beijing uh, for that. Um, in addition to those uh, events, I, I would also like to see more uh, research collaborations and collaborations in education, develop education programs across uh, universities, across groups within China in, in industry ecology. Um, so, um, that's uh, I guess that's all I want to say and uh, thank Jimmy and all the speakers uh, greatly for their time and uh, uh, preparation for those important um, important information historical information important historical uh, documents. Thank you, Jimmy.
Uh, thank you. Uh, we uh, we have a couple of minutes before we end our this year's industry ecology. So, is there any question or comment uh, from the audience? Hi, Stefan. Would you like, would you like to Good say something? Good afternoon. Something? Hello. It's morning on your side. Right? Yes, I've just had my breakfast. Thank you so much. Okay. This was for me very insightful. I know some of the colleagues. I have studied the work of Zhang Wulu uh, when I studied the Chinese steel cycle work. So that was very nice to see him here. And you know that I have this industrial ecology online course, the teaching material. And it would mm -hmm. be nice if we can also have some of the very important Chinese documents uh, the early publications translated to English, and I could list them there as, as really important contributions to the field. Right now, I have only what the Americans have, the Frosch and Golopoulos uh, industrial ecology, but I think it's, it's important to see that industrial ecology merged in different countries for, for different reasons, right? Because we all had specific environmental challenges at different stages in our history, and it would be nice to really highlight more the, the Chinese contributions in the global in the global field. Thank you. Well, thank you. I think that's a very nice uh, suggestion. We, we definitely should uh, do something to to kind of to to help with the uh, help with the communication, uh, not not from uh, not uh, not confined by the language bar barriers, of course. To, to, yeah, it will be nice. Well, any other question or comment? And uh, well, if you are still here, would you mind uh, turn on your camera uh, like Stefan already did so that we can ha have a group screenshot, a group photo together? Yeah, I should, I, sh I should have uh, read the photo. Thank you. Now, Supan, can you do the screenshot of a typhoon? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did. I did. Okay, great, great. Yeah. So, <laughs> we'll probably the others are not uh, able to do it now. Well, uh, I think time is about uh, to to end it. Uh, well, uh, thank you so much for for everyone for for coming and thanks thanks a lot uh, for the for all the speakers uh, to share. Uh, share the knowledge experience about well the pioneers and also about uh, the future path of our community well uh let's close it close it for for today and for this year's uh, industry ecology day uh in beijing we we still have other venues uh i think in tianjin and in hong kong and also uh, additional more values uh more venues in in other countries of asia in europe and in the united states okay well see you in other venues and see you next year bye thank you bye bye thank you jimmy thank you bye jimmy